volcanic super eruptions appear to involve much of the explosive material from the last eruption event forming a caldera in Yellowstone is much more complex than previously thought according to annual reports of activity in the super. We're talking about Godzilla sleeping under Yellowstone, oh my god! It's a super volcano it's a continent killer Yellowstone Park has just closed and something bad is happening even though Yellowstone has been a national park since 1872 scientists didn't fully understand the size of the volcano until 1872 1960s and it wasn't until the 1980s that they realized that the volcano is still very much alive and poses a big risk of a catastrophic eruption. Therefore, geologists are curious to know what exactly is going on under all these hot springs and geysers. Unfortunately, recent research has revealed the serious impacts of changes to Yellowstone Park that are beginning to disrupt the park's existence. The last super eruption of the Yellowstone volcano that occurred 631,000 years ago was not a major explosion, but new research shows that it was a series of eruptions or multiple vents that spewed volcanic material in sequence according to the U.S. Geological Survey USGS Yellowstone Volcano Observatory Annual Report 2022 published in May. Field research completed last year has provided new geological evidence that the formation of Yellowstone Serra is much more complex than previously thought. A caldera is a large crater that forms after a volcano collapses due to an eruption. Yellowstone is one of the largest volcanic systems in the world. It is located in one of the top hot spots on Earth, namely the area in the mantle where hot plumes emerge and form volcanoes inside the Earth. The volcanic crust has produced three caldera eruptions on Earth. Last 3 million years Big Huckleberry Ridge eruption 2.1 million years ago Massive Falls eruption 1.3 million years ago and Lava Creek eruption 631,000 years ago. The Big Huckleberry Ridge and Lava Creek event is considered super because it ejected more than 240 cubic meters m1000 cubic meters of material was responsible for the formation of the Yellowstone Mesa caldera which erupted at 67 cubic meters m so the 280 cubic meters of material is still about 10 times larger than the eruption of Mount St. The acidic area to the E. preceded by at least one eruption that triggered the formation of volcanic rock by depositing a mixture of hot materials released during the eruption found in locations that had previously cooled completely. The large lava river eruption that occurred better understands the chronology of the eruption. Scientists spent 2022 remapping and collecting samples at Sow Creek Dome. There was little to no time gap between the two scientists Michael Poland accused of being at the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, told Live Science via email that now we think there are more units and we are not sure what the time gap is. So far the team has discovered four previously unknown Ignan Bright units at Acid Creek that indicate at least four eruptions. They also found two structures that look like possible vent eruptions. The source is rock, meaning there is active ventilation and or a time lag between the eruptions. Pollen says but we don't yet have the data we need to answer the question. 
In 2020 scientists discovered a powerful eruption at Huckleberry Ridge that ejected twice as much volcanic material as the lava produced by the river and gradual event analysis of rocks at the site showed that there were three separate eruptions in the weeks to months between the first two weeks a year eruption and years to decades between the second and third weeks.